No matter where you are in life, transitioning can always be tough. Whether it be you moving from one grade to another in school, or moving to a completely different school, or, or learning how to drive, getting a job, moving into a new job, leaving home, moving to another state, moving to another country, whatever the case may be, the truth of the matter is we're always going to be going through transitions in life. And so in this video, I wanna give you a couple tips on how to handle transitioning. So without further ado, let's go, let's go, let's get it. What is up? How you doing? How you living? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Scotty Bruh, and on this channel I answer questions and objections about Christianity, and I share motivational and lifestyle tips to help you seek, know, and live biblical truth in all that you do. So hey, if you're interested and you want to see more of content just like that, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can catch me in my next video video now the first thing to do to handle transitioning is to have a relationship with god so that you can hear him see the truth of the matter is you may be transitioning into something that god doesn't want you to be transitioning into and so the way that you make sure that you're going with god and you're going where he wants you to go is to make sure that you have a relationship with him so that you can hear his voice and the way that you do that is by trusting and believing in jesus repenting of your sins so that god can fill you with his holy spirit and what god's spirit will do is it'll help you discern god's voice from the enemy from demons from all these other things that are going to try to lead you astray so make sure that you have a relationship with god so that you can hear his voice john 8 47 says whoever is of god hears the words of god so make sure that you are of god so that you can hear his words and secondly make sure that you trust god proverbs 3 verse 5 says trust in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding see so many times we try to transition or we try to move on our own pace without trusting God. See, maybe we're scared or we're anxious or we're frightened because of the unknown. When we're transitioning into something, we may not know what we're transitioning into exactly, or we may not have complete clarity, but that doesn't mean that we can't transition anyway. That's where we need to trust God, trust that he will make a way that he will give us clarity, even when we may not have clarity at the moment. And now thirdly, as you hear God and as you trust him, then you can be able to be strong and courageous as you're transitioning. In the Old Testament, God is speaking to this guy named Joshua and what he tells him, he says, have I not commanded you be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed for I will be with you wherever you go. And the truth of the matter is the same God that was with Joshua in the Old Testament, that was with Moses and Abraham and the apostles, that was with all of them, that same God is with you too. So be strong and courageous as you're transitioning in life. And lastly, make sure that God is with you. In Exodus 33, there's this guy named Moses who is leading God's chosen people to the promised land. And one of the things that Moses says to God in verse 15, he says, if your presence will not go with me, do not bring us up from here. And basically what Moses is saying, he's like, God, if I'm going to go, if I'm going to leave these people, I want to make sure that you're with me. I want to make sure that I'm not alone. And in the same way, in your life, as you're transitioning, as you're moving through the different avenues of life, make sure that you are going with God, that you're sitting when God wants you to sit, that you're walking when God wants you to walk, that you're running when he wants you to run. Make sure that God is with you and go at his pace. But hey, that is it for this video. Reflection question for you. Are you in a period of transition? If so, what are you transitioning from and transitioning to? Let me know down in the comments below. I just wanna thank you so, so much for watching. If you found value, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I just pray that you continue to seek, know, and live biblical truth in all that you do. Scotty bruh, and until next time, grace, peace.